right, so we're back at the ranch today. Got the junkyard dog. I know what you're thinking. Why do you have a 4x12 scope on the junkyard dog? Well, I was at Timmy's last month and could not hit the 100 yard gong. So I watched a video earlier today and he was claiming he could hit 250 yards with an AR9. And he may have, I'm not saying anything. But anyway, so I wanted to stick this scope on here and see if I can hit it 100 yards. Uh, so I sighted it in and it was all over the place. I'm talking all over the place. That was with cheap planking ammo. I got some of this Monarch 9mm steel case, lacquer coated. Uh, we're going to shoot it it. <clears throat> then I got some of these extreme bullet reloads. Uh, 115 grain round nose 9mm, 8.2 grains of ACC number 7. We're going to put in this mag and let's just see what I can do at 100 yards with an uh, 8 inch barrel on a 9mm pistol. Alright, guy on the right, uh, this is the Monarch. I'm going to be holding low, left and right center. Holding the same spot. Same spot. This is a good CMC trigger. Good scope. Taking my time. Let's switch over ammo and go to the guy on the left. Alright, these are my hand loads. I'm going to hold the same spot every time. Alright, this load is shooting way left. I'm going to hold on to the right, the right bottom corner. Hold the same spot. Still shooting left. Alright, I'm going to move over. That would hit where I was aiming. These are just all over the place. Alright, I got some interceptor reloads I did. Let's uh, see how they do. Here are the interceptor reloads. They're copper polymer, whatever. I got five of them in the mag. Let's see how they do. Funny. It's a target, but it sure sounded funny. It's a totally different impulse field. Holding the same spot. Legit. Maybe that's why it sounded funny. Bullet's probably too light for it to cycle good. I'm going to say those interceptors are probably have the best group. So uh, let's go repaint and try some of them interceptors. Alright, there's a look at the interceptors. Uh, I showed you what they look like before. Uh, we're going to uh, slow up five of them and see how they do. My uh, 
the Monarchs did better than my reloads. And I couldn't tell, but I think these did better than both of them. Just load some up and check it out. All the same spot every time. Man, that's a funky delay. Better group. Uh -huh. That's a load of ten in the mag. That was missed left. Let's go down and check out that group. I think that's the best out of all of them. Alright boys and girls, I was aiming right there. And hit right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got nine out of ten. One of them skirted over there. I'm sure y'all saw that on the camera. Call that about a six inch spread. I'm overhanging an inch. I don't know how far it missed that way. With those interceptors. You got two touching right there. Two right there. One or two, I can't tell. Those interceptors really seem to like that gun. Um, I don't have but seven or eight, maybe ten left. I'd like to test them a little more. I really didn't want to use them on this video. I don't know if my uh, hand, my other hand loads were just going too fast to stabilize good. Uh, the the steel case Monarch seemed to do better than my hand loads, so I think uh, I think if I tune my loads to that gun, I, I think I can do all right with it. Uh, combat ready, no. Fun ready, yeah. I normally keep a red dot on it, you know, and shoot here it. 15, 25 yards is what I normally do with it, but I just wanted to put that a uh, bigger scope on it and see what she'd do. All right, guys, I'm gonna uh, put about three of these interceptors in, about three of these monarchs in. These interceptors, I don't even know what grain they are. I don't even think it says. Anyway, I'm gonna zoom in on the bolt carrier group, and let's see that. I mean, they just sound like the it's the bolt carrier groups just you can hear it you can hear it going forward seems like so I'm gonna zoom in on the bolt carrier group and we'll see what that looks like put two of these monarchs in and two or three of these in these will be coming out first loaded last of course these will be coming out last loaded first of course let's just see what it looks like Okay, here comes the Inceptors. Watch the bolt carry group, see if it changes anything. You'll notice the brass is leaning. Most of it's landing on the table. Thanks for watching, guys.